how are you doing? Happy Easter celebration. My name is Laura Omini and this is Real Relationship. You know, we're in the Easter period. We're actually in the Passion Weekend. Easter is all about love, forgiveness, second chance, mercy, and all of that. It was during the season that God revealed His awesome love, His agape love, His sacrificial love towards mankind by the sacrifice of His only begotten Son. So Easter is all about love and forgiveness. That is why the subject is timely. Forgiveness and marriage and relationship. You know, it is often said that a great marriage is a union of two good forgivers. I couldn't agree less because without forgiveness, there is no love. Without forgiveness, there is no love. Forgiveness is the highest expression of love. If you're not a forgiver, you can never be a lover. He who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of love. Simply put, if you cannot forgive, you cannot love anyone. Okay? For you know that for, for, for our marriages to thrive and flourish, for, for couples to live together happily and enjoy a truly satisfying marriage relationship, for our homes to be a heaven for peace and love, we must make forgiveness a daily practice. So what is forgiveness? What is forgiveness? Let's look at um what forgiveness is <clears throat> excuse me forgiveness is a voluntary decision to show mercy to someone who has offended you and let go the desire to get even a decision to show mercy a decision to let go of um, 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 feelings of resentment and let go also the desire to get evil. Okay? That means that if, if you say you are forgiving your, your spouse, for instance, and you still um you're still harboring the desire to hurt them back for hurting you, it means that you are not working in forgiveness. You're working in unforgiveness. Okay? Because if you say you are forgiving him, if you say you are forgiving her, you shouldn't um, harbor the desire to hurt them back. You shouldn't harbor the desire to make them feel pain because you made them feel pain because they hurt you. So forgiveness is not complete if you do not let go of the desire for revenge, to get evil, to hurt them back for hurting you. Isn't that where we all um, get it wrong when it comes to forgiveness? We say we are forgiving um, the, the people who hurt us, yet, you know, secretly, we still desire something evil to befall them. We still want to hear that something, you know, bad has befallen them. We even pray for God to, to revenge on our behalf. It is not our responsibility to, 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 to prescribe the, the, the punishment that God should met out on those who have hurt us. No, that is not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to let them go. Your responsibility is not to, 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 to desire revenge, not to desire to get evil. Just let them go. Do not recommend to God what punishment should befall the, the person that hurts you it could be somebody you were in a relationship with it could be that they, they dumped you it could be that they, they hurt you really bad they broke your heart let them go okay do not pray that they never find love do not pray that they meet with an, uh, with someone who will break their heart like they broke yours no that's not your responsibility 
that is God's um, responsibility. <clears throat> Excuse me. Most of the time we say we are forgiving people, but we still wish them evil. That is not true forgiveness, my brother. That is not true forgiveness. My sister, let go and let God. Okay? So let's look at what forgiveness is not. What forgiveness is not. Because I, I see there's a lot of uh, misconception about what forgiveness is and what forgiveness is not. Okay? Some people think that when you forgive someone, it, it makes you um, seem weak. It means that you are weak. That is far from it. Forgiveness is not weakness. Okay, let's get that clear. When you choose to forgive somebody, it doesn't mean you are weak. It only means that you are wise. Because trust me, it takes a lot of strength. It takes tremendous strength to let go someone who has hurt you so badly someone who has damaged you emotionally it, it takes strength to let them go and not seek any revenge against them okay and 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 and, and let them uh, go i mean just like that just let them go let them go out of your heart no resentment no ill will towards them it takes strength only strong um, men and women can truly truly forgive so forgiveness is not the same thing as weakness one other thing forgiveness is not forgiveness is not forgetting okay forgiveness is not forgetting it's okay to forgive and not to forget well, let's be sincere let's be frank with ourselves how many of us can can sincerely say that we have forgotten everything that hurt us in the past the incidents that hurt us in the past how many have forgotten them it is not possible that's mere fallacy you can't forget the incident that hurt you how else do you learn your lessons if you do not remember what happened and you forget everything where do you draw your lessons from so forget, forgiveness is not the same thing as forgetting. You can forgive someone and not still forget the incident, you know, that warranted that forgiveness. Okay, the difference here is you remember that incident, but without um, any feeling of resentment, without any desire to get evil. You remember everything that happened, but now you don't want to get evil. You don't even feel resentment towards them, okay? You, you just let them, let them, let God handle them. They are his creature. They are his children. We are all children of God. We think that because God loves me, you know, then God should punish anybody that hurts me. It is not so. God also loves the other person, okay? So, so you, your responsibility is to let them go. Your responsibility is to forgive them. Do not have any feelings of revenge. Let God handle his own child. Let God handle his child. Anyhow, he deems fit. Okay, so that's the second thing. Forgiveness is not. Forgiveness is not forgetting. Forgiveness is not a feeling. Hello? Forgiveness is not a feeling. Forgiveness is a deliberate decision we make is a choice is a choice we make to let go those who have offended us regardless of how we feel regardless of um whether we think they deserve forgiveness or not imagine if god were to wait until we deserved his forgiveness and his love we would have all been dead frustrated by now don't you think so so forgiveness is not a feeling whether you feel they don't deserve it, whether you think they deserve it or not, forgiveness is a choice you make irrespective of how you feel. Forgiveness is not excusing the, the, the incident, it's not excusing the act. Forgiveness is not justifying what they did. No. 
just because um, somebody chose to forgive you doesn't mean that you were right and they were wrong. No. And just because you chose to forgive somebody doesn't mean um, they were right in what they did to you. It doesn't mean you were wrong. So forgiveness is not, is not um, excusing what they did. Forgiveness is not even reconciliation. Especially, especially for those in relationships. Forgiveness does not mean reconciliation. Just because you forgive somebody doesn't mean you should get back to the, together with them. After they've, they've displayed this um, a certain behavior over and over again. Somebody hurts you and he or she apologizes. You forgive them and they repeat this, um, this act over and over and over again. It becomes manipulation. So you forgive them. But it doesn't mean that you have to be reconciled back to them, back with them, sorry. Because forgiveness is freely given. But you see, trust must be earned. Okay, so forgiveness is not the same thing as reconciliation. You can forgive someone and not necessarily get back in that relationship with them. So that's one thing. Forgiveness is not... Okay, so now let, let's look at what unforgiveness does to your relationship. What unforgiveness, unforgiveness does to your relationship. Number one, unforgiveness is certainly going to kill and destroy relation, um, communication in your relationship, especially with your spouse. You're harboring unforgiveness in your heart towards your husband, towards your wife. How do you communicate with them? You know, I can imagine that kind of communication. It will be mostly snapping. You just snap. You know, every little thing you snap. And then, then, then you nag. You complain. You criticize. And these are all counterproductive. They are not effective um ways of communicating so harboring unforgiveness is certainly going to destroy communication in the family in the home between the husband and his wife and you know that communication is the engine that drives marriage so when the engine packs up what happened to the marriage it stays that way until you fix the engine the marriage goes nowhere it comes to a standstill. The marriage comes to a standstill. And that period that your marriage is stagnating, a lot of resentments will be creeping up and growing underneath. So you better sort out whatever issue you have by forgiving your spouse for whatever he or she has done and just let them go. Forgive them freely, whether they deserve it, whether they apologize, whether they do not apologize, let them go for your own good, for the peace of your mind. You need to, to let them go. One other thing unforgiveness does to your, to your marriage is it destroys intimacy. It destroys intimacy. For as long as you stay offended, at your your spouse is still offended at your wife your husband you can never effectively participate in any intimate relationship with them if you do it will it will just be um, a one man's affair and you know that can be very boring nobody wants that so unforgiveness will destroy communication unforgiveness will destroy intimacy in marriage one other thing unforgiveness does it is a thief of joy it will steal your joy you will lose your peace you will lose your joy and guess what you begin to harbor all kinds of um, diseases and sicknesses in your body because unforgiveness is poisonous it is poison 
Remember they say unforgiveness is taking poison and hoping the other person will drop dead. Unforgiveness is poisonous. Do not harbor unforgiveness in your heart and you think you're hurting the other person. You're actually harming yourself. So for your own good, for the health of your body and, and, and for the well-being of your soul, your spirit, you need to let go that hurt and let God handle it in his own way. Let him go, let her go and trust God for a complete and total healing. The Holy Spirit is our healer. Trust him. He never fails. May he heal your heart today as we celebrate this Easter. May every heart, every harm that has been done to you be torn to your advantage. May you receive full healing, complete healing of your broken heart. As you yourself begin to search in your heart and forgive every single person, including your spouse, including that woman, that man, that has hurt you, that has offended you, that has disappointed you, that has betrayed you, as you let them go, as you forgive them, may God truly give you a healing in your heart, complete and total healing of every broken heart in the mighty name of jesus you know that he is the potter the potter is able to mend your broken heart let go and let go i wish you a very happy easter celebration i love you and i know that god loves you too ciao